English Premier League season is about to start and in a few more days the country's football grounds will be full. The Raw wanted us to bring back some of the excitement to you in Australia. And one of the things that really sets English football apart is the singing. Singing has been a part of English football for well over a century. They try to change grounds, put seats in, get people calmer, but they won't give up the singing because the singing is what sets them apart, they think, as a club, as a community. It gives them a sense of belonging on a match day. We wanted to find out more, so we headed to a pre-season game in Manchester to ask some Man City fans what it means to them. It's like nothing they can ever describe. You get the buzz in the atmosphere, like you know you're here. When I'm singing and everyone in the mate is just shouting as loud as you can, it just feels at home. Goosebumps all over and the hairs in the back of your neck stand up. There's nothing that tops Blue Moon being roared right around the stadium. It's just the spur of the moment, whatever happens, the crowd just starts singing anything and you just join in. We've come up with all sorts of, of tunes, but the most famous one for me that kind of sets us apart from everybody else is there was one game, Millwall away, and there was the, the away fans weren't allowed to go. And basically the song was a little bit something like this. We're not really here, we are not, we're not really here. playing on the fact that we're not there and that song from that day to this has been one of our favourite songs. The season hasn't even started yet but these guys are more than happy to burst into song at the drop of a hat. With that behind us we decided to stop in at the main Manchester United pub right next to Old Trafford and get the red side of the story. no other feeling in that like, life is there really. All your mates are around you, you're all singing to sort of the same player, the same sort of feeling. It's not it's nothing like that in life. You can't you can't go to work and start singing a mad song about a ginger lad, can you? But football, get behind skulls, is your hero, is your messiah. That's what it's about, isn't it? Feels good, you know, it feels good to get behind him, like, yes. Well, the singing has been going on, I mean, a, a long time, you know, since since football started, and it used to be actually a lot more prevalent when we had terracing, when people were standing next to each other, and I think people then felt a lot more of a communal feel when they're standing on somewhere like, for example, the Cobb, the famous end um, at Anfield, and there was 20,000 people, you know, next to each other, and it sort of generated from that closeness, that communal feel, um, and people just started singing songs to encourage the team and then it became and it has become almost like a bit of an art form there are now would you believe sort of websites and fans forums dedicated to creating chants yeah, they're on Facebook the internet everywhere people just write them and then everyone else just sings along I'd say the best ones kind of come out of left field so a lot of City fans will just start singing a song on the day Someone will do it, a bit of humour, everyone will laugh, find it funny, and then it'll pick up verse after verse after verse. It'll... Badge of honour, if you can come up with it with a novel, unusual chant set to some you know, popular music. But singing isn't just about making the fans feel good. It's about showing that support to the players on the pitch. And it's in the away games that that becomes the most important. The away fans, probably more vocal than the home fans. Because home advantage appears to be such a big thing in football, that if they can make a difference by making the players know that they're there, um, then, then, then they sing. It's the only thing the players can hear, you know. If everyone gets behind them, when you've only got 1,000 or 2,000 away fans, and they can hear you over everyone else. That's, that's the key factor. It's that passion. It's been amazing to hear about the kind of passion these fans have for their clubs and the important role that singing plays in that. 
For Australian fans who want a taste of that atmosphere or to learn from the Masters, tune in to the English Premier League. The new season starts on August 17th.